You're going to hear tonight one of the greatest bands in the world, a band that has a tremendous history. You'll see in, in small print on the music stands, it says, established by Thad Jones and Mel Lewis. I was very fortunate to have been at the very first rehearsal of what became the Thad Jones Mel Lewis Jazz Orchestra. And that goes back to December 1965. And about a little later than that, in early February of 1966, the band made its debut at the Village Vanguard. And it's still there every Monday night. It's a tremendous history. You can read all about it in the wonderful program that uh, John Post has put together. And incidentally, how about a hand for John? Yeah. It's great to see so many of you come out on a night like this in Columbia, Missouri. We, we, New York would have a hard time filling up a place like this. <laughs> so, congratulations to you. Uh, I won't talk for a long time because I know that you're anxious to hear some music and you're going to hear some marvelous music tonight. They're going to start with something that takes us all the way back to the very beginning of this marvelous orchestra, a Thad Jones piece that really says a lot about that. It's called Mean What You Say.
Tell us that when I'm talking. Tim McKinley. Thanks very much, and welcome to the Village Vanguard. That's what, the, that's what we try to do when we do uh, get out of New York occasionally, and uh, it's feeling pretty good already. That first one, of course, uh, Mean What You Say, by our founder, Thad Jones, and tonight we're uh, very excited to be doing uh, new work by Bob Brookmeyer, and also uh, just touching on some of the great uh, periods that Bob has had with this uh, organization. And we're going to go right now to something from our latest CD, the one that uh, Dan was talking about. And uh, this is one of Bob's great works on a classic composition. It's uh, constructed to feature several of the guys in the band. Uh, it'll be Billy Trues on alto saxophone, Scott Wenholt on trumpet, and Luis Munilla on trombone, and assist from Jim McNeely. And so here's from Bob's first tenure with the band, uh, his uh, great idea on the St. Louis Blues.
Oh, <laughs> 